Our final problem for this section is an application problem, looking at places where uh, these linear relationships might actually occur out there on the planet. So a certain cell phone company's rates are modeled by the equation y equals 0.08x plus 18, where x stands for the number of minutes that you use in a month, and y is the total bill in dollars. So the first thing they ask us to do is find the y-intercept. Now remember, the y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. So we're going to put a 0 in in place of the x in this equation and solve it and see what happens to y. So we get y equals 0 0.08 times 0 plus 18 which is y equals 0 plus 18, or y equals 18. The second thing that they ask us to do is explain what that means. So if y is equaling 18, and y is a total bill that you're paying in dollars, the meaning of this, and, and x, is the number of minutes that you talk, what the y-intercept means is that if you use zero minutes, so you don't talk on your phone at all for the whole month, you still have a bill. Your bill is $18. The second part of this problem says, find the total bill if you talk for 120 minutes. So we'll keep the first part of this paper here where we can see it. That our equation again was y equals 0.08x plus 18. And they want us to do it for talking 120 minutes. Well, our x stands for the number of minutes that we spend on the phone. So we're going to write this again as y equals 0 0.08 times 120 plus 18. Then we need to figure out what that multiplication is, which I did do somewhere earlier. I just need to find it. Well, 8 times 12 would be 96, and this with the extra 0 is going to be 960 moved in two places, gives me y equals 9.6. So adding 18 to that, it looks like I'm going to get 27.6, or $27.6. How many minutes you can talk for $58? $58 is our y in this case, our total bill. So we're going to have 58 equals 0.08x plus 18. I'll subtract 18 from both sides. That gives me 40 equals 0.08x dividing by 0 0.08 on both sides. Well, if I just divided 40 by 8, I would get 5. But since I'm dividing by 0 0.08, I need to go two more decimal places out, making a total of 500. So how many minutes can you talk for $58? You can talk for 500 minutes. Then our next task is to put this onto a graph uh, showing the cost of um, how much you would pay for a total bill that goes from zero to 500 minutes. So we've already done a couple of the solutions up here. We tried a point where, um, on the page before, where x was equal to zero. We solved that right here. So when we let our x equal zero, 
we ended up with a y equal to 18, which gives us the ordered pair 0, 18. Then up here, we tried a solution where we let x equal 120. And when we had x equal to 120, we found that y is equal to 27.6. So that gives us the point 120, 27.6. And then we did it one more time here where we started with a y value. We let y equal 58. And when we solved for that, we found that x equals 500. So our third point on our graph is 500. 58. The next thing that we need to talk about is the graphing. So if you look here, we want to continue consider what is the span of the values of x and y that we're going to need to graph. Well, it looks like our smallest x value is between 0 going up to 500. And our y values start at 18 and go up to 58. So when I'm choosing a scale for my graph, I want to make sure that I'm counting by something that's going to fit onto the graph that I have. Um, because there are no negative values that I need to graph, um, which makes sense since you can't talk a negative number of minutes or pay a negative number of dollars for your phone bill, we're actually going to let our point of origin, that 0, 0, be right down here at the corner. And then I'm going to count by, I think, fives going up, although I may not be able to get the 58 on. So maybe I should count by sixes coming up here. So if I let this be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. That is our, my y values, which represent total cost and it's being measured in dollars. Then down here on the y axis, I need to be able to get from 0 to 500. Um, so it looks like um, I'll need to count by 20s uh, to fit that span. So if this is the point zero, 00, this is going to be my 20, 40, 60, 80, ooh, no, not by 20s, by 50s. Try that again. 50, 100, 150, 200, now we're going to get there. 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500. You also want to be sure you label this scale. So this scale down here is our number of minutes talked. Then to graph it, I need to start my graph at the point 0, 018, which would be this point right here. Then my next point is where x is equal to 120. So that's going to be between my 100 and 150, just slightly closer to the 100, since 125 would be the middle. And I'm at 27.6, which is just a little more than halfway between 24 and 30. So coming out here, it looks like somewhere about right there is a good point to put that dot. And then my final point is at 50 or 500 on the x, 58 on the y. So about right there. Then connecting these dots. I'll graph the line that looks like that.